Welcome to page 101 of Anatomy Coloring Book. This is Dr. Stephen Harkins. How does the blood circulate throughout the body? This is a schema of blood circulation. The blood is going to circulate in two ways. The systemic circulation the systemic circulation throughout the body and the pulmonary circulation throughout uh, to the lungs and back. During systemic circulation, um, blood is being delivered and oxygen and nutrients are being delivered to the body. Blood and nutrients to the body. And then, from the body, waste products, carbon dioxide and waste, are entering the bloodstream to be taken back to the lungs. So fresh blood is exiting to fuel the tissues of the body. And meanwhile, the tissues that were already used by the body are going to come back and be taken away, come back into the bloodstream. The pulmonary circulation is when we get to the um, lungs, is the opposite. It's where this carbon dioxide and waste leaves the bloodstream to go to the lungs. And where oxygen from the lungs is brought back into the blood. And that's called pulmonary circulation. So let's begin. The oxygen poor blood will be is blue blood. And it actually is blue in appearance when you look at your veins and you say you see blue color. That's because it lacks that venous blood lacks oxygen. The oxygen-rich blood, of course, is going to be the color red because when oxygen attaches to the iron and hemoglobin, it literally changes to the color red. And in between there, we will have a, how about a purple color? Uh, signifying capillary blood. This is the blood that's in the process of, 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 it's a mix of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood, so to speak. So here we go. After blood is used by the body, in other words, after the oxygen is taken out of the blood, and used by your muscles and organs and glands and every cell in your body, the oxygen, it, it, it turns blue and it no longer, well, it's no longer, it doesn't have oxygen in anymore and it needs to get oxygen. So let's start right here. This is deoxygenated blood. This is oxygen, this is blood that's already been used, and it enters what is called the right atrium of the heart. After the right atrium, it's jammed down into the left atrium. Just the right atrium shoves it into the, excuse me, into the right ventricle of the heart. And then this muscle of the right ventricle squeezes and squeezes and pushes this blood outward out of the heart through and, and into the lungs, through to both lungs. And it does so through the pulmonary artery. So it's being carried from the right atrium to the right ventricle, and then squeezed up and through the pulmonary artery into the lungs. Anytime you hear pulmonary, think lungs. And so here all this deoxygenated blood is. 
got no oxygen. It's all been used up and spent by the body. And what happens is through breathing, when you inhale, yes, that air, that oxygen comes into your lungs and gets into your lungs and the capillaries and the alveolar space in your lungs and your lung and, and it begins to that air begins to oxygenate that old blue blood that deoxygenated blood until that oxygen from the air attaches to the hemoglobin in your blood attaches to the iron in your blood and the hemoglobin and becomes to become once again rich with oxygen these blood cells same blood cells now that were blue and deoxygenated now are becoming filled up with oxygen now this d or this freshly oxygenated blood heads through the pulmonary vein the pulmonary vein and back into not the right atrium now, but what is called the left atrium of the heart, this freshly oxygenated blood. This left atrium then shoves this fresh oxygenated blood into the left ventricle look at this big massive muscle of the left ventricle right here this big massive heart muscle why is it so big because when it squeezes boom it slams the fresh oxygen out of the heart into what's called the aorta and it slams all this blood into the head and neck and upper limbs, the brain, down the abdominal aorta and the thoracic aorta into the heart muscle itself, into the thoracic abdominal wall, the gut, the liver, The GI tract, your gut, your, your, your stomach, your colon, your spleen, your kidneys, into your perineum and your pelvis, all your, your sex organs, your reproductive organs, into your legs, everywhere throughout the body with one big slam of the left ventricle of the heart. And so what happens then? Well, your, your, your head, neck, your brain, your arms, your muscles, your cells, your eyes, your every part of your body begins to use that oxygen from the lungs, that fresh oxygen from the, from the, um, blood that came from the lungs and then the heart freshly oxygenated blood and it, as it gets used as that oxygen gets used up by the abdominal organs by the liver by the cells of the uh, colon and the stomach and the intestines by the uh, reproductive organs by the muscles of the perineum by your legs the muscles of your legs the skin of your legs every organ and gland starts to use up that oxygen again taking it stripping it from the red blood until that blood has no more oxygen in it and turns literally the color blue. 
after all it is stripped of all its oxygen. The and in the brain, brain has no more oxygen. These brain cells, they used it all up. Now that oxygen or the deoxygenated blood begins to travel back through the veins, not the arteries. It traveled to the organs and glands through arteries. Now it's traveling back to the heart, not through arteries, but through veins. Veins, that's why your veins look blue. All this used up blood, no more oxygen in it, traveling back and from here through the veins, from the brain, from the arms, hands, muscles, back into the right atrium of the heart to once again start the process. What's going to happen? The right atrium is going to squeeze and slam the blood into the right ventricle. The right ventricle is going to squeeze and slam that blood out again through the pulmonary arteries into the lungs, where it will be slowly filled, or rapidly filled, I should say, with fresh new red blood and where it is pumped back to the left ventricle, the hard left ventricle squeezes, slams that blood into the, excuse me, left atrium, squeezes, slams it into the left ventricle. Left ventricle squeezes with its big, massive muscle right here on the left side, and out through the aorta, out through the arteries, and once again to all the organs and glands of the body. That is a scheme, a rough schema of how blood circulates through the body. This is page 101 of Anatomy Coloring Book. This is Dr. Stephen Harkins.